Hey everyone, it's time for another album page layout. Hi, welcome back to another Squatchcraft video. It is LJ here. Today, we are gonna do one of my most requested pages, the puzzle page. It always gets some really interesting oohs and ahs whenever I share it over on Twitch. Um, and it looks super complicated but it really isn't um you've just got to think about where you're placing things but other than that it is quite simple um, if you love these tutorials and you feel like you learned something from me please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a comment it really does help me out and it means the world to me that you you enjoy these and you learn something okay let's get started so what you want is your base piece for your page so for this one i've just got an eight by eight page you need a square page for this to work so for example in the alice album what i did was i had a rectangular page and i added something here and here so for example i stuck I stuck a little bit of design on this side, a little bit of design on this side, and left me with a square in the middle. Okay, you could do the square on one end and then have something else on the other side, but when you're doing the puzzle, it needs to start off as a square. Okay, square of whatever size you like, but it needs to start off as a square. So I'll link the Alice album for you, and you can see I used design paper on the edge pieces to bring it down to give me a square um i've also done this in the halloween album um and somewhere else um but i'll pop the playlist so you can see right so you've got your whatever size your square is mine is eight by eight so then you want to make a gatefold design now a gatefold is where you have two pieces that open out like doors called a gatefold so mine is eight by eight so i have two pieces that are eight by four and a half because you need to attach them so my red pieces are eight by two and a half eight by two and a half eight by four and a half excuse me and all i'm going to do is line it up in here and score at four inches okay line it up score at four inches okay gonna fold these and burnish them and then we're gonna stick them on okay now again you want these to meet in the middle if there is a slight gap it won't be a problem because you will be using all of the same color card it's just going to be noticeable on mine if there is a gap because i'm using different colors to make it really easy for you to follow so i'm going to stick this on one edge right on the edge make sure we're nice and straight stick that down like so now as you can see you see a tiny little bit of yellow there but you wouldn't if this is all the same color now this one i'm going to dry fit it first and just check don't think it's going to bump into each other which is perfect if it does, we will need to do a tiny bit of trimming, but that's okay. Okay, again, and then same thing. Stick this on the other side. Nice and straight. Look at that, perfect. Perfect. So this is called a gatefold page. Okay, you could leave it at that, put closure on it, done. Um, but gatefold, okay? We are now, though, going to add the puzzle piece on top and do the, um, the locking texture. Locking mechanism. I don't know why I said texture. <laughs> We're going to do the locking mechanism. Now, you need four pieces that are square. So mine is eight by eight, which means I know that my squares are going to be four by four. And I can have four, 
four by four squares. But you also need the flap. So you want four pieces that are four by four and a half. Okay, four by four and a half. And all you're gonna do on the four and a half inch side is pop it in and score it at four. Okay, put it in, score at four. Put it in, score at four. Put it in, score at four. Okay, we're gonna fold and burnish those. And then we're going to fold and burnish them in the other direction just so that this fold line is used to folding in both directions because it's going to have to these will fold back on themselves fold forward on themselves and you want to really burnish this to make sure that they are well prepared to be able to fold both ways easily Okay. Oh, so have these opening whichever way you want, up and down or side to side. It really doesn't matter. The orientation doesn't matter in that sense. Okay, we've got four sections that are going to fit on. So I'm going to start with one piece, which is going to sit this bottom corner. So let's let's just for the sake of ease number these one, two, three, and four. Okay, and obviously you've got the divide in the middle so I've just pencil marked one two three and four so we're going to start with section four okay and you want it so that the fold line lines up with this edge okay so if I grab a piece of paper just to make it very clear I'm going to put glue on this flap okay and we're going to line this up nice and flush on that edge nice and flush at the bottom like so okay so this opens this way okay we're going to do exactly the same thing but this time on number one so again take your piece glue on the flap I'm going to line it up at the top and the outside edge. So we're going to line it up nice and straight there. There we go. Okay, so this opens that way. So one opens this way and four opens this way. Okay. I'm going to take another one and they're going to go here and here. But this way they are going to... Um, Let's keep that paper in actually so you can see the edge. So this one, the flap is going to line up with this edge. Okay. So I'm just going to hold that in place. And we're going to line this up right next to it. Like so. Again, make sure we're not going off that edge. we go okay so the one in three opens up okay one opens to the right three opens up four opens to the left number two is going to do the opposite to number three and open down so again add your glue and again, we're going to line it up against this on the outside edge. So up against there, level with that edge. There we go. Okay, so that comes down. Okay, so number one opens to the right. Number two opens down. Number three opens up. And number four opens to the left, okay? 
they don't interfere with the flaps that's fine what we're now going to do is we're going to fold them back on themselves and this is how we're going to create the locking mechanism so you're going to need some magnets unfortunately with this one you will really need magnets to make this work um, because it does need that security okay so i'm just going to start as they are right now i'm going to take a magnet and i'm just going to stick it in the middle of the page okay just stick it right in the middle of one of these okay doesn't matter which one you start with turn it over put a magnet on the back we're then going to make this one stick on the bottom section so it's attached to there and we're going to stick it down okay so now that has a magnet there and there we're then going to add a magnet on top of this this is the only really tricky bit is you have to go around in a pattern to make sure that all the magnets line up so stick a magnet on top of there we're then gonna put that there with some tape we're gonna fold this up and stick that piece down so now this one has a magnet on okay now we do the same process turn it over pop that on tape underneath stick it to the back Have another magnet on top I'm just going to go round and round continuing this add the tape open this up magnet is attached put a magnet on the back that down now there's a magnet on that one magnet here tape underneath open this this way okay and then final piece there hello okay okay and then we're going to stick this on the back there we go just going to quickly furnish all of these so just really make sure those magnets are Secured. Okay, so now we know all the magnets are in the right place, okay? So this, this still opens. So what we're now going to do is we're going to flip every single one of them. So, number one we're going to lift. And then we're just going to go around and switch every single one into its new place everything is stuck down and now that page is sealed so the way i do it is like it when it's locked i would then cut my design paper down stick it on to make a picture so in the alice album this showed the mad hatter's tea party okay and then to unlock it you're going to lift up now these back panels you can also add paper or you can leave blank for a photo and then all i did was undo all of the pieces like so and then put different paper here for me i like to have like a background pattern here so that you know the image locks it and the background pattern unlocks it you can also have pictures on both that's absolutely fine i just find it easier that when it's open it's just a pattern or it's um four separate images so i know okay i still have to lock it 
and then when we lock everything like so you add a full image to create i hope that makes sense um but yeah that's that that's how easy the puzzle page is i i love this one everyone looks at it and thinks oh my god that's so complicated but it's actually really straightforward you've just got to be aware of which direction you are sticking the flaps and where your magnets go start with one just work your whole way around until you have got so it should be two four eight magnets you will need for this eight magnets and then of course this this is gonna not open when you turn your pages so you don't need to put anything over the top you can if you choose to but you do not need to so yeah and then we just open it up like so and then your page opens out really like that one really really do uh leave me a comment let me know what you think and uh, i will see you on the next one keep crafting bye